watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. You're taking a live look over the Sundial Bridge this evening. Clear blue skies out there and plenty of people getting in an evening walk today. Meteorologist Patrick Wright here now with your forecast. Patrick, I was out there last night and even though it was pretty late at night, probably around 9 or 10 or so, it was didn't even need a sweater. It was great. It's getting to be that time of year where you can be out late at night and really not need to add any extra layers. Now that's great if you want to spend time outside in the evening, but not if you want to get some rest at night without turning on the air conditioner. Now you may need to turn on the air conditioner tonight because the sky is clear and things are still looking warm. Here's what we have outside right now. A clear sky, as I mentioned, this is the view from the Pine Creek camera facing the southwest. So we have the Sutter Buttes off in the distance there and the Coast Mountains way off in the distance just beyond my hand, Chico, a little closer to the foreground. So it is going to be nice if you want to get outside, jump into a pool this evening and just relax. But yeah, you're going to want that sunscreen. It is going to be warm but clear tonight, especially even after the sun sets. More heat on the way, but we are reach will we reach that century mark? That is the big question as we head into the middle of the work week next week. Now, if you don't like the rain, hey, we're not going to have really anything heading into most of tomorrow. We may see a few clouds popping up here or there in the mountains, but otherwise that's about it. And those are not going to cover the sky completely. We will see a chance for some breezes here or there, so not a lot, but enough for you may notice this stepping outside tonight and into tomorrow. Gusts up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour, if that, and that's going to be in isolated pockets across the region. We'll see some gusts picking up again tomorrow afternoon into the evening, but again, it's by no means anything too significant, so you can get outside and enjoy. You may not even need the brush to tame the hair if it's being whipped around too much. But lows tonight will be a little warm, upper 50s to lower 60s, so it's going to be a little harder to cool off, but we are still in that time of year where you can get a little bit of relief at night. Highs tomorrow, low to mid 90s once again, 92 in Chico, 94 in Red Bluff. Now we have a ridge of high pressure that is currently in our area, but it starts to weaken as the system dips down into the Pacific Northwest. It's not going to bring any rain to us, but that will bring a chance for some northerly winds, especially heading into Tuesday, so that will cool us off slightly Monday, but then really ramp things back up again Tuesday and Wednesday as those northerly winds kick in and a ridge of high pressure takes control once again by the middle to end of the work week next week. So that's something we're going to pay attention to. But heading into the end of the weekend for next weekend, we may start to see things cooling off once again. Now, Chico, I don't see us reaching the century mark this week. Highest we get will be in the upper 90s. For Reading, the highest we'll get right around 100, possibly on Wednesday. So that is something you will want to take into account. It's going to be a hot week ahead. Some windy conditions Tuesday and Wednesday gusts up to about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So it's going to be something we want to watch as we get a little closer.